first time I met Van was back in 1962 at the first competition. It was a very brief encounter, and thinking in all of the following years, the number of times I was with Van, you could count on the fingers of your one hand. There were not many. I guess I always appreciated how he distanced himself from the competition. He never interfered with the judging procedure. But the first time I saw Van or heard him play was three years before that in 1959. He was only 24 years old. And I heard him play a magnificent Brahms B-flat concerto with Fritz Reiner and the Chicago Symphony. Now, Brahms B-flat, uh, many people's consideration is the most difficult concerto and certainly the most noble, but it seemed to fit Van to a T. Now, Reiner was the epitome of a very stern, almost tyrannical conductor, but he and Van got along famously because in the ensuing years they collaborated on recordings of the Beethoven Fourth, the Beethoven Fifth, the Schumann, the Rachmaninoff second, and at that time Van also recorded with the symphony the Prokofiev third concerto with the McDowell B minor recording, which I treasure a lot. I always wondered why more people didn't ask Van to play the Brahms B flat. They always seemed content to hear him play Tchaikovsky or Rachmaninoff. Maybe Van had something to do with that, I don't know. But Van certainly liked the Tchaikovsky to the end of his life. I heard him comment, uh, towards the end that playing the Tchaikovsky was like going to the opera. And in addition to admiring his concerto performances, I was an admirer of him in recital, and I heard him play recitals twice in the 1970s. His playing was always so rock solid, so musical. He had this big sound, uh, but never harsh. His playing was without ostentation or mannerisms, except for one thing. He would start both his recitals that I heard with the Star Spangled Banner, which caused the audience to have to stand up. And we pianists joke that in that way he not only got a standing ovation at the end of the concert, but at the beginning. In those days, 50 years ago, standing ovations were not that common. He would start the Star Spangled Banner in the style of the first composer on the program, for instance, when he played the Appassionato of Beethoven. Uh, he played... Uh, or another recital he played, uh, I believe it was the Brahms G Minor Rhapsody, and his performance of the Star Spangled Banner was very slow and ponderous and rich and choral. The last time I saw Van was about five months before he died, I was playing with the Fort Worth Symphony along with three other past winners, and some of us went over to visit Van. I kind of expected him to be rather glum because we knew he was already quite ill, but instead he was ebullient, almost joyful. I admired his faith, his acceptance of death, and several times he remarked how grateful he was for having lived such a full life. We'll never forget Van.